Anyway, no time for going into the light right now. Okay, we got a show coming up in just a minute. Real good interview with a neat guy named Peter Bramley at Circus McGurkis. Really neat place. So take a look. It's great stuff. Well, I'm glad you asked me that question because I'm Norman B and I present Deviations from the Norm. Rock the Poetry written by me performing Norman the Deviant. Deviant. Now, Deviations from the Norm feels somewhere between poem, song, comedy, and erotic. It's worth a dollar. You'll love it. Magic musical comedy, street theater, performance art right here, right down this very stage with a low, low circus, McGurkis discount, donation of just nothing. Does anybody have it? Hi, this is Pete Edwards with Videotropic. I'm here with local artist Peter Bramley, who, uh, well, why don't we let Peter tell us a bit about well, I'm, I'm local now because I live here. But you started your career in New York, right? Yeah. Well, actually, I, actually, I started my career in Massachusetts. Massachusetts. I was, I was a sports cartoonist at the age of 13. I used to work for, t I worked for town papers. And then I, I went to school in Boston. And I fled Boston and went to New York. And there you were uh, instrumental in founding National Lampoon. Among other things, yes, Among National things. Lampoon, yeah. So you know all the early uh, people that were involved with that, including, yes. uh, wasn't there including a... Including old Jed Doug Kenny, yeah. Uh, who's Jed Doug Kenny? He plays dead now, see, because Jed Doug Kenny. Doug Kenny was one of the first editors. Yeah. He's a wonderful guy. Very sad story. He went to Hawaii and took acid and fell off a cliff. Really? Yeah. Thought he could fly? <laughs> I think that's yeah. I, I I think that would that was his story, yeah. It's all very sad. I have here Peter's new book. Florida's Vanishing Wildlife is a coloring book. Of all the endangered species in Florida, it's very sad. It was a fun project to do, but it was kind of sad because all these critters are really in serious trouble. It's amazing how many animals are in serious trouble. Yeah, this, just, this just sort of scratches it. I mean, it, there's a lot more animals. I could do another whole book. I mean, there's, there's mil thousands of animals and insects and plants and, and all kinds of things that are endangered in the state of Florida. It's really, Florida's destroying itself. Destroying itself or being destroyed? Well, being destroyed. The people in Florida, <coughs> the people in Florida are destroying it. Hmm. I mean, when you consider the fact that there are more automobiles in Florida than people, you know. That does seem kind of silly. Yeah, it <laughs> does. Um, where can we get the book? I don't know. Disneyland. <laughs> Manhattan, I shared a studio for a while with a guy named Jerry Perishon, who's this wonderful artist, and he has a bunch of birds, and, and working with him was wonderful because he had like a, a, a cockatoo, he had two cockatoos, uh, two macaws, gold, uh, he had a red and gold, or a blue and gold, and a red and green, he had a little, he had a wonderful little green Amazon parrot that used to laugh. You know, every time, you know, because he was another cartoonist and we used to do these silly, and every time we'd be sitting around making jokes and laughing, the bird would laugh with us, you know. <laughs> That's great. And of course it was great though, and we were both pen and ink artists, and we'd be sitting there working in our studio, and all of a sudden the birds would come walking along behind the studio there, and get up behind your chair, you know, while you're doing this very serious pen and ink line, and right behind you, Aah! you know, right behind your ear, you know. And, <laughs> <laughs> it was wonderful working with birds. It was, but I, I, yeah, I love birds. I mean, birds are great. I think birds have tremendous personalities. In fact, most of my paintings, I don't, I don't do nature art. Like, I don't get into doing their whole habitats and rendering every feather. Like, I like, I like to do, I like to draw their feathers. I mean, their faces, just their faces, their, their personalities. Their, where where can we find like. a print of yours if we went looking for one? In my house. <laughs> <laughs> Call me. <laughs> I'm not in the book. <laughs>